family it's faith here so today i will be taking the worship and today's worship um talks about outlasting the opposition um and uh today's scripture reading is found in matthew 24 verses 13 and it says but the one who endures to the end will be saved now reading over this verse it really encouraged me because you know, there's been times in my personal journey where I've gone through these challenges and these struggle, struggles and battles and I've thought, you know, God, why, why isn't anything happening? Like, why isn't it going away or why isn't anything changing, you know? And I know a lot of like yous can agree with me and kind of relate. Like we have those battles where there's this constant cycle where it just seems like God, are you really there? Like we have those doubts and it's just like, I really thought I was past this, but it would, it just keeps getting brought up and brought up time after time. And, you know, it really gets to the point where you're just like, I can't do this. Lord, like nothing's happening for me. Nothing's changing. And what I love about this verse is, even though it's short, it has so much encouragement in those simple words, you know, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. You know, everyone wants to be saved. No one wants to be left behind. No one wants to be, you know. So this just, this verse, hearing this verse, it just really encouraged me because it was just like a reminder that, it was just a reminder for me, like, it, I just felt like God was saying to me, Faith, carry on, you know? Uncle Baya, carry on. Whoever's watching this video, carry on, you know? I see you. I see the battles you're going through. I see everything you're facing. I see that constant cycle. And he's saying, you know, if you endure this, the one who endures this to the end would be saved. And um, it kind of um, brings me to that story in scripture where... Um, you know, David, he spent many years fleeing from King Saul. And before he was, um, and this was like all before he was made king over Judah. And the interesting thing in like the whole story is like David never defeated Saul, you know? He simply outlasted him. And that's like what wraps into our topic today, outlasting the opposition. You know, you have to tap into that staying power. It says, don't give up along the way. Don't get discouraged because it's taking longer than you thought. Your time is coming. And I think that last line is so important. You know, your time is coming. Um, I think a lot of the time when we do have these doubts, it's, it's mostly, it has to do with us running on our time. You know, some sometimes that's the problem, you know, like we're so fixated and so focused on oh, it's not happening on my time. Like, oh, why isn't it happening today? Like, or why didn't it happen, it happen like a month ago? Like this should have been done already. But the thing is, this verse is in, just like it encourages us that to wait on God's time. You know, God's time is always the right time. And, you know, just. I just want to like leave with you family that like whatever struggle you're going through whatever it may be I don't know what situation you're going through right now but God knows and he's saying to you the one who endures to the end will be saved don't give up family God is always watching he's always there even though it may seem that he's not he can he sees your tears he sees your cries he sees your pain he sees the hurt he sees the struggle and the beautiful, beautiful thing about it is even though we go through these struggles, um, God is always there, you know. He's we may not feel it, we may not see it, but He is there. He's always protecting us. He always has a plan for our lives. Each and every one of us has a purpose. We all have God has a plan for all of us. And so that's just the encouragement in the verse I wanted to share today. And you know, I just pray that. It will touch just one of you today that it will whatever you're going through you know um this verse will will really sink in and you know touch someone you know so i just pray the holy spirit 
moves to whoever needs this passage for today. But yeah, I just want to thank you, family, for giving me the opportunity to um, share, um, you know, a Bible passage. And I think it's really great that um, we're all doing life together. So I'm just going to say a prayer to wrap up this video. And so if, if you could all bow your heads, that would be great. So dear Heavenly Father, um, thank you for that promise that if I keep honouring you with an attitude of enduring faith, you will bring me through to victory. Thank you that I can tap into staying tap into staying power to at last whatever is coming against me whether it may be these financial struggles um these battles with relationships whatever it may be lord um we know that the victory is near and that you are always protecting us and you are always with us and we just want to thank you for the encouragement lord um you know we just i just pray for everyone in my family lord um, I know we may not see what everyone goes through, but I know you see, Lord. We know that you hear every every cry, Lord. You see every hurt, every tear, every situation, Lord. And we just we just thank you for being the awesome God that you are. Um, the, not only the an awesome God, but a loving God, a caring God, a God that encourages us to keep pushing through and in jesus's wonderful name amen thank you family